Hi YouTube, um, this is not my sixth attempt attempt at creating this video. It's a very simple tutorial. First of all, I'm going to explain the problem, and then I'm going to show you how to correct it. As you all know, I'm very, very fond of my little China phone, my Blue Dash 4.5. This is, I mean, it, it's an amazing phone for the price. You can actually pick this up on Amazon right now for about 112 bucks. Quad-core processor, four gigabyte ROM, uh, five twelve megabytes of RAM. That's the only downside, really, um, is the RAM. But um, still, I, I'm working on that too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, write a script that will enable uh, swap on the uh, the SD card so that we can have virtual RAM. So, at any rate, um, the problem. That's the done of the problem that I've been having with this phone. Um, I knew there was a very simple solution to this. And aside from mucking around with too many system files, I figured out how to do it by just replacing one system file. By default, this phone wants to install applications that can run from SD to the internal SD card. Now, I wouldn't really have too big of a problem with that if by default it downloaded yeah, it didn't download things like music and movies and all this other stuff to the internal as well so if you download an mp3 file it gets placed in music and you know a good chunk of your 1.8 you know internal gigabytes is, is taken up um, rather quickly uh, even if you select I'll show you this menu is only for things like pictures or, or media created on the device. Any downloads do go to internal. Let me go to storage. Default write. See where it says default write disk there? See I have selected phone storage? I have selected phone storage because that is no longer my phone storage. That is my SD card. That will show you. phone storage is only one, uh, the, the internal, the fake SD card is only 1.8. See where my SD card is. And anyway, <coughs> very simple, very easy solution to this problem. Um, a lot of people have been asking me um, for, for a fix for this problem for a while now in uh, my Blue Dash 4.5 Facebook group as well as um, people have been wondering how the hell to do it on, on uh, Google Plus group. Um, so I figure I'll go ahead and you know, write, you know, do this little video after I wrote this little um, installer script that replaces that one system file. What that system file does is tell the operating system where to mount, in wi under which folder to mount which card. All I did is simply swap the mount points and bam, done. Uh, it does not affect any other functionality of the phone aside from it mounts the external as internal and internal as external. Um, you do not have to have an external SD card, um, but uh, if you install applications to it, um, if you have it swapped, best to leave it in. If you want to replace it, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a little bit, uh, it might get a little bit complicated, but still. This is just a simple, easy, quick fix. Um, Alright, let's get down to it. Um, what I've done is I've downloaded my... Um, my, my uh, installer file, which you can use TWRP or Clockwork Mod. Um, I'm actually, I'm going to double check. I'm going to make sure that I did put it on my SD card here. Which doesn't look like it did. So, I'm going to go ahead and download it again. Um, Actually, wait, I've downloaded it. I'm just going to push it over to my SD card with ADB, but um, here we go. You know, if, if, if I'm, if I ever ramble or you know, I'm too long-winded for you guys, let me know. If I'm not uh, uh, explaining something 
uh, uh, well enough, let me know that as well. Um, I'm here to help you guys out. Um, everybody in the Blue Dash 4.5 community, this will work for your D310A or your D310I. Don't worry about which model you have. Go ahead and flash this if it'll work for, for both models. Um, I, I really thoroughly enjoy helping you guys out because I, I remember how I was when I first you know, started mucking around with Android, and I'm like, oh, I'm lost, I don't, you know, I don't know how to do this, I don't know how to do that, and nobody ever helped me, so, I, I kind of enjoy, you know, giving back to people, okay, so what I'm going to do, is I'm going to reboot my phone, um, I'm actually going to, uh, I'm going to do another video on how to, how to modify the, um, the boot, the, the power down menu to, so that you can get reboot and recovery and all that, but for now, I haven't done that, I'm just going to do reboot, standard reboot, say okay, hold the power down and volume up after you do that, um, and this is, of course, only if you have Clockwork Mod or TWRP installed. If you don't, then refer to one of my other videos to install or to root the phone. Um, but power down, uh, power and volume. Uh, it may do this a couple times, but continue holding power and volume up until you get into your recovery, which mine is TWRP. I'm going to go ahead and use my camera here so that this is easier for you to see what I am doing. Okay, so we're going to hit install. And that's the name of my file, which will be in the description. Um, go ahead and install this. You don't need to wipe the velvet catch. You don't need to do anything um, special. Just go ahead and install it. Okay, and then reboot system. You don't need to wipe the velvet catch. You don't need to do anything there. Um, if you wish to return back to stock, um, I will uh, place a, a a flashable zip. In uh, in the same folder with the uh, with the modification here for the for the uh, internal external swap, um, but for now I don't have one, um, and I won't have one probably until one is requested. So I mean if you want to go back to stock at any point, let me know. Uh, or you can Google how to edit that file yourself. All it does is install one simple system file. Alright, thank you guys. Please leave comments. Please give me a thumbs up, you know, if, if you enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, if it didn't help you, give me a thumbs down. I don't care. Um, so, alright guys, I am out. I'm going to do another video here very shortly, and I'm going to show you guys some very cool stuff um, on this phone. I'm, I'm actually going to return this one to full stock in a minute, and I'm going to walk you guys through rooting, installing a custom recovery, I mean, you know, pretty much all all the goodies. So, okay. We'll see you guys here in a couple minutes.